Good afternoon and welcome to DETV in conjunction with Lingfield Football Club. This afternoon we're joined by David Graves, club captain uh, for the Lingers, and uh, just going to give you a bit of an insight into David, how he got himself down at Lingfield and how the season's been for him and the team this year. So welcome David, great to have you down at Lingfield. Um, lots of talks about you pre-season, Dixie wouldn't stop talking about you, I don't know if you had a, a fetish with you or I don't know what's going on between uh, you and Dixie but every conversation was about you. So first of all welcome, Cheers. now you're here you stopped talking about you which is nice. And uh, So you've joined Lingfield this season, how has it you got down down to Lingfield, you know, you've been at Chipsy, you've played at some, you know, some great clubs at some fantastic level. How has it you got yourself down here? I've known of Dixie um, for a few years. Um, yeah. I've never sort of, no, I haven't known him personally. Yeah. But I've known of him, and I know that he's quite um, close friends with the guys at Chipsy. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm guessing that from sort of time to time there must have been a conversation that's probably been uh, dropped in that maybe contained my name. Yeah. Um, Dixie gave me a ring um, quite early on in pre-season. Uh, sorry, quite early on in the off season, um, and spoke to me and asked whether I'd be interested in coming down. Um, initially, to be honest, I lived five minutes from Chipstead, so it was um, a bit of a difficult decision. But Dixie can be a persuasive man. He can. You're right, and uh, we thank you, Chipstead, for uh, <coughs> allowing Dave Graves to come over to Lingfield. So thank you for that. Um, so you're here. Pre-season went fairly well for Lingers. You played a small part in that, bits and pieces. Something you, your first real game for Lingfield was uh, against Crowborough. Yeah. <laughs> We're keeping that in. <laughs> so, uh, we've been trapped there by Dixie. You see Dixie in his all glory there. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, you can be quite persuasive. Have you got zoom on that camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, pre season, down, uh, down at Maidstone. Against Crowborough in the cup. Um, just talk about that game. I know it's a long time ago, but just that was your first impression of the Linfield team, the setup, and what we're about. What was your fact? What was your feelings? How did you feel about I knew that? going into that game that um, we've probably been given a tough draw, mm -hmm. um, considering Crowborough have invested quite a lot of money. Yeah. Um, they're obviously playing on the 4G at Maidstone, which yeah. I think makes a difference. Yeah, it, um, it gives teams an advantage, I think, when they're playing on that week in, week out. So I knew the game would be tough, yeah. um, but I thought, to be honest, in the first half particularly, I thought we equipped ourselves really well. Um, we played three at the back then, mm -hmm. which we've gone away from since, yes. um, but I thought that the, the three of us at the back, it was myself, Twiggy and um, Wilf that day, um, I thought we defended well, I thought we got vital blocks in, um, we perhaps didn't use the ball as well as what we had been in pre-season. But I think that was probably uh, due to the opposition being yeah. sort of slightly better than what we'd come up against. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I thought we equipped ourselves really well. And if it wasn't for an extremely dubious decision, which led to me um, getting Ta two yellow cards, yeah, um, taking an early I think, uh, to be honest, I think we would have at least taken them to a replay. Definitely. Um, yeah. Which I think set us up well for yeah. the season. Yeah. So moving on from that, mm -hmm. we had a fair few runs away from home. Results were mixed. We got back to Lingfield, got back to the lair. And we really <coughs> in, instilled a, a force we reckon with at the Lair. You know, fantastic home record. Would you put that down to? I don't know. I think, obviously, at the beginning of the season, we had players that were in and out. We had players like myself, I was missing. So I can't comment too much on yeah. the first three or four away games yeah. um, because, unfortunately, due to work commitments, I couldn't be there. Yeah. Um, by all accounts, I'm told that the only game really that perhaps we got caught cold in was the Langley game. Um, the other games that we lost. To be honest, I played in the one at Wick. I don't think we deserve to lose that. The guys said that down at Mile Oak, we didn't deserve to lose yeah. that. Um, so I think it was just a case of maybe getting a couple of wins and getting a little bit of confidence. Yeah. I do think the fixture list was quite kind to us um, in terms of our first couple of home games. Yeah. Um, we won 5-6-0, yeah. which I think kind of set us up um, at home for a, for a really good run. And I think yeah. it gave us the confidence that we could kick on. And I don't think we've sort of looked back. Definitely, then. definitely. So, you know, it's a fantastic record, you know, the Lair, you know, teams coming here looking for points, don't often come away with points at Lair at the moment, you know, which is great for us, great for the confidence in the players and, you know, and it does spur, spur players on to, to greatness. Talk about the players, you know, new into the team, you probably didn't know many of the players, how have you adapted yourself, how the team adapted to you in, in that, that force we reckon with really? I think it, it definitely takes time when you're sort of building new relationships. Um, 
since we've gone to four at the back, I think I've played nearly all of them games with Twiggy mm -hmm. and I think it took two or three weeks maybe for us to sort of yeah. suss each other out um, and yeah. to know what each of us are good at um, and since then I think we've um, well I think we went six or seven games yeah. we only conceded maybe one goal um, and it's the same all over the pitch I mean I have to get used to playing with Connor or Hodgie right back yeah. um, you have to get used to your keeper yeah. Um, so yeah it, it takes time yeah. Um, and I think that's one of the reasons maybe we had a slower start um, than we perhaps would have liked. Yeah. But since we've got ourselves back down to the lair, we've, uh, we've picked up results. Cool. And what do you think the standard of football is like in, in this league? Obviously, you've played I don't, Tuesday, you've played at this level. Huge, I don't think there's a huge difference um, between this, um, the division above, and then the Ryman yeah. 1. Yeah. I think there's a difference when you start going to play um, like your Ryman Premier, your Conference South. Yeah. I definitely think there's a difference, but I think that's more because players have to be a little bit more committed mm -hmm. and you notice that everyone's just that little bit fitter yeah. physically they're a little bit stronger yeah. um, and I think that's the biggest difference but I don't think there's a huge difference yeah, just sort of run myself down yeah cool so there you go guys a bit of an insight into David Graves um, you probably had more of an insight than Dixie than many of you were probably imagining and probably a lot of you ain't going to get that out of your uh, memory bank so we apologise for that but thank you very much and uh, have a good day